been trying to catch some butterflies. But for some reason, oh, that, 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 that wasn't working. Wait a second, these aren't butterfly nets. They're Huggy Wuggy's feet. Ah, get them off, get them off. I had my butterfly box with me right here, but there's no butterflies in it. It's all empty. Uh, baby Nuggy, what are you doing here? I'm trying to catch a butterfly, not a fry chicken. So honestly, bro, you smell a little burnt. Did you set your fur on fire again? I told you to stop using the stove. This isn't a butterfly box. It's a chicken nugget diorama. Wait, what? Baby Nuggy, Saucy Nuggy, and Dippy Nuggy realistic dioramas. Well, how about instead of doing Nuggy dioramas, let's look at some Poppy Playtime ones instead. And then maybe I'll find my butterflies. I heard they got a lot of trees in Playtime Co. Come on, family, let's go. Family, smash like on today's video if you want to catch some wild Poppy Playtime characters inside of a box. Because if we get this video to 10,000 likes, then I might trap you in a box. I might never let you out. So quick, family, smash like. All right, family, here we have an evil lunch lady. Oh, I mean, uh, Miss Delight. Oh, I mean, um, evil curse probably playtime character. And this is the drawing of what we're gonna be creating in real life. Whoa, this is an art piece from a creator called Jack Jack. And he's about to make a super duper realistic diorama of Miss Delight. Look what we have right here. We have a bunch of clay and he's molding the clay into the shape of Miss Delight's evil head before it gets ripped off. Off. Family, y'all already know how that goes. Okay, we got her big teeth and her very wide mouth. <gasps> and then we even have the sides of her face. Wait a second. Her face looks cracked. Her hair looks big. Her eyes look ginormous. Kind of like a big golf ball or a fluffy marshmallow. <laughs> but do not add chocolate to that marshmallow with a graham cracker on top. Because then you would have a Miss Delight flavored s'more. And then you'll be crying and saying, Daddy, please don't give me more. Oh, now we are molding Miss Delight's clothes. And family, after we finish making the figurine of Miss Delight, we're going to add her into the super realistic diorama. And Miss Delight is going to get locked up forever. Not that she already wasn't locked up in Playtime Co. because she literally can't leave. But now the tables are turned, Miss Delight. And instead of you trying to chase us with those long legs of yours, we are gonna stuff you inside of a box and forget about you like you're an old pair of shoes. Speaking of shoes, family, do you see the ones that Miss Delight are wearing? It looks like she's wearing a new pair of Nike Air Maxes. So either she is about to start chasing us or getting ready to play in a basketball game. I don't know which one I prefer. Okay, the final finishing touches to Miss Delight's dress are happening. Oh, we're even coloring in the apple. Because remember, family, Miss Delight is a teacher and teachers love to get apples. Oh, no, that's Miss Delight's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> and this is the final transformation of Miss Delight. Oh, I'm so excited because since Miss Delight is done, that means we can move on to the box diorama part. And if we are smart enough, family, and we execute this plan perfectly, then we can trap Miss Delight inside of this box and she will never be able to escape. Oh, look, that's the wall that Miss Delight ran through. <gasps> and now we're putting Miss Delight in, but uh oh, it's not secure yet because Miss Delight can still escape at any moment moment. But shh, family, if we don't tell Miss Delight that we're gonna stick her in here forever, then maybe, just maybe, she won't escape and then we can lock her up. And then by then, it'll be too late. Oh, <gasps> family, look! I think we did it! Are you ready to see the final transformation of this Miss Delight diorama in three, two, one? Whoa! Miss Delight is stuck in the box, but uh-oh, wait, somebody else is stuck in there? that we didn't want to get stuck in. And that thing is yellow. And no, family, I am not talking about the SpongeBob on my shirt. Because hello, SpongeBob. Did y'all see him? But family, I'm talking about Player. And not only is he stuck in this box forever with Miss Delight, but he also got a little smackety smack by Miss Delight's barb. And now just like Miss Delight's eyes that look like giant golf balls, she also happened to get a hole in one. In the middle of Player's stomach. No, Player, no. Speaking of holes in things, family, look at this. 
we are creating more Miss Delight art pieces. And this happens to be... Uh, wait a sec. Do you know what it is? I'm going to let you guess. So I'm going to be very quiet and not tell you anything. Oh, well. Okay, maybe I'll give you a little hint. Or maybe I'll tell you exactly what it is. Because I can't keep a secret. It's pancakes! It's pancakes! Stanley, we're making custom DIY Miss Delight pancakes. And if you look at this video very carefully, then you can learn how to make them too. And family, remember how I said that we were talking about holes? Well, when pancakes start to cook on a frying pan, look, they start to get a lot of holes in them. That means the pancakes are cooking. And here's the final transformation of our first Miss Delight pancake. Whoa, it looks just like her. I mean, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. At least we can still eat it though. Next up, we have another Poppy Playtime 3 pancake and it may or may not be Miss Delight again. But wait, wait, family, this is not no regular schmegular Miss Delight. Mm -mm -mm. Because this Miss Delight is going to look a lot different than the first Miss Delight pancake we made. Because this Miss Delight version of this pancake is cursed. And now, family, I know what you're thinking. I know, I know. You're saying, Alexia, why on Chicken Nuggy Earth are you trying to show me how to make a cursed pancake? I don't want to eat that. Well, family, chillax. Calm down. Relax, bro. Let me explain. Just because the pancake is cursed doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get cursed, too. It only gives you like a 99.9% .9 chance. So family, that means you have a 0.0001% chance that you won't get cursed. So what are you even freaking out about? You are so silly. Bippity boppity boo, cursed pancake, I choose you. And now let's see the final transformation. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah, it's cursed Miss Delight. And half of her face is ripped off. Baby Nucky or Baby Delight? I don't like that. All right, all right. Next up, we have another pancake, but this time it's not Miss Delight. It is another Poppy Playtime 3 character, but family, I want you to guess this one. Uh-oh. Wait, can you tell who it is by his giant Dorito-shaped mouth? <gasps> or wait, maybe you can tell who it is by his big, big, long arms or his long legs or his very pointy face. Uh, or if you still don't know who it is, family, maybe you can tell after we color him in and you see his... <gasps> Oh no, this super blue body. Family, we are making Nightmare Huggy Wuggy in a pancake. <gasps> Whoa, and this one, he was even coming out of the TV. Just like in Poppy Playtime 3. Except at least with this pancake, he's not gonna run down the hall and chase us. But you know what I will run for? My fridge to go get the maple syrup. Cause that's what I like on top of my pancakes. Family, comment down below what you like on your pancakes. Okay, new character, new pancake. Oh, more grumbles from my tummy because apparently I am super hungry even though I ate three seconds ago. And speaking of seconds ago, family, look what we're making. A logo of Poppy Playtime 3. Whoa, that actually looks really cool. All right, family, time for all of the pancakes together now. Which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite? Miss Delight, Cursed Miss Delight, Nightmare Huggy Wuggy, or the Poppy Playtime 3 logo. Dr. Nuggy is here! And we're about to cut open some Poppy Playtime characters! Uh, Baby Nuggy say what? Dog Day? Wait, wait, family, are we at a Poppy Playtime 3 hospital and all of these characters are having an operation? Uh-oh, wires are in, patient is on the table! Dog Day looking super sus, and those tools are looking super sharp. What the chicken, Nuggy? Family, look! What on Chicken Nuggy Earth are we finding inside of Dog Day? We found Bobby Bear Hug. We found Crafty Corn. And now it's time to cut off Dog Day's chains and put back on his legs. Whoa, family, look! We saved Dog Day! Okay, okay, but what about Bobby Bear Hug, who we found inside of Dog Day? <gasps> he needs surgery, too! Family, look at this! He has these twizzly cords coming out of his face. Ow, ow, ow! Oh, no, 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 no! I know we are not opening up his stomach right now and taking out his heart? Family, uh, what are they doing? He needs a heart to live. <gasps> oh, wait a sec. We just replaced it! Just like we're taking out his teeth and, uh, hopefully replacing them with new ones. Oh, no, no. No, we didn't. We took out his teeth. We took out his eyeballs. And now instead of making Bobby Bear Hug happier, we made him more cursed. What kind of doctor are we? All right, all right. 
Bun so bunny? Wait a second. We didn't even see you in Poppy Playtime 3. Yay, yay. No wonder we didn't see you. You were too busy partying. Filling up your stummy with a, uh, what is that, air? An airbag from a car? A bunch of stuffing they put inside of pillows. Oh, man, family, what's gonna be inside of here? Purple goop? Another symbol? Oh, and look, family, those are all the buttons in musical memory. Just like in Bobby Playtime. Remember the buttons we had to press with Bunzo? And if we didn't get the buttons right, he would go super duper mad. <laughs> ah, ah, ah! Just like that. Family, we literally just saved Bunzo Bunny's life. And is he grateful? Oh, no. He's just trying to eat us. And speaking of things I like to eat, hey, piggy piggy, what are you here for surgery for? Okay, doctor, doctor, we have a problem. This pig ate a couple too many apples, and we have to fetch them out of her. Oh, oh no, we're also taking away the eyeballs. And now we're chopping open her stomach. Oh, what are we gonna find? Oh, it's an apple. And a bubba bubba fint. A crafty corn too? Wait a second, family. I thought we were on a fruit diet only. What are we doing eating unicorns and elephants? We are vegetarian. Buggy Bot, is it time to party? Ooh, look at you. <gasps> you look so good. What? Wait a sec. Good for a robot. Not like good like chocolate cake or like good like a boy or girl. Somebody might have a crush on. Strictly robotical. Okay, so we got Boogie Bot here and he's looking very electrical. Oh man, there's so much electricity coming out of him. And wait a second. There's something else that's coming out of him. It's the Ollie phone. Whoa, the one we saw in Poppy Playtime 3. And we got it out of his head successfully. And that means the surgery worked. Next up, we got Baba Baba Fan. What are you in here for, bro? Do you need an ear cleaning? A hearing test? Somebody to dig up that long, long nose of yours to fetch out some boogies. Oh. Wait a second. Papa Papa Finn is missing his arms? Wait, how did that happen? And now we're chopping open his head and taking out his brain? <laughs> oh, no. And we're replacing it with a light bulb. Of course we are. Papa Papa Finn doesn't need a brain to be smart. All he needs is a little bit of sunshine. Hoppy Hopscotch, it is time for your surgery, girl. <gasps> Wait a second. What happened to your legs, Hoppy? You lost them. Uh, girl, I don't know how you lost your legs when literally the only thing you want to do all day is jump around. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but without your legs, you can't really do anything like that unless you have some springs attached to your tummy or you want to jump headfirst on a trampoline. But as a fake doctor, I do not recommend. And instead, I recommend getting this surgery surgery to reattach on your arms so now you can run and jump all day long ta-da hobby hopscotch you are good as brand new except for whatever yucky gunk we're putting on you this family that looks sticky pj butterfiller i haven't seen you in so long except when i saw you close to the shrine and you did not look good bro like you actually kind of looked oofed but uh we're not gonna talk about that right now because it is time for your surgery and we are going to try and bring you back to life oh and we're also gonna try and reattach on your feet uh one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi four five mississippi six mississippi oh no we have slime in the door oh I don't even know what we did to PJ Pugpillar, but apparently it worked. So I guess our job is done. You're welcome, PJ. Don't ask me any questions, because I have no idea how I fixed you. Kissy Missy is here, and she is ready for surgery day. Aw, she's looking cuter than ever. <gasps> With no arms? Um, Kissy Missy, usually I would say uh, everything's okay, but uh, today, I don't know if that's the case. Because we do have your arms, that's the good news. But the bad news is, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put them back together on your body. And I also don't know if your brain surgery is gonna go okay either, because like I said, Doctor, don't know what I'm doing. So hopefully this goes fine. Oh, well, by the smile on Kissy Missy's face, I think the surgery went perfect. So it was a success. 
Huggy Wuggy is next on the operating table. Okay, let's see what's wrong with Huggy. Um, by the shape of his arms and legs and how they're twisted, I think he might have broke his arms. Ow! Ow! Oh, yeah. Oh, he did. Because that's why we just cracked them back together. Okay, now we're cutting open his tummy and let's see what we're going to find in there. A lemon? A hand? What the chicken nuggy, Huggy? Why did you eat a hand with a lemon at the same time? Apparently, Huggy Wuggy was looking for something sweet and sour. Because lemons are super duper sour. And I think that hand was dipped in chocolate. I mean, you could have just eaten a sweet and sour candy ball, but uh, go off, King. I guess your way is better. Uh, not... Poppy, my girl, the nicest, cutest, and most loving person in Poppy Playtime. <gasps> What's wrong with you, sweetie? Oh, no. We have to chop open your head, too? What's inside of there? <gasps> a rotted brain? Or, wait, that's not a brain. That looks like a rusty, like, cord or gears. Oh, it is Poppy's brain, but it has all these extra things attached onto it because the evil people at Playtime Co. messed with her head. But don't worry, baby. Family, we are on the job and about to save Poppy forever. So we replace her brain with a new one that's not musty, dusty, crusty. And now it's good as new. Except for the part that she's still cursed. That part I don't think we could fix. Catnap, what happened to you? Why are you in the operating table? <gasps> and why do you look so different? Did you take a break from chasing all the characters and trying to eat them? Because for some reason, bro, you don't look the same as before. Wait, broken bone? Oh, we just cracked it. There he has fluffy red stuff in his head. Do you think that's what makes him breathe out his evil red breath? Okay, we took out the evil red fluff and now we're replacing it with a regular brain. Pop that head back shut. <gasps> and now we're opening up his stummy. <gasps> Whoa! It's Prototype's hand inside of Catnap's tummy! Okay, that is crazy. And now Catnap looks the same as he used to. Oh, and he's trying to make us go to sleep. Catnap, bro! We were just trying to help you. Why do you always just gotta be sus? And now, family, look at this. Okay, I know you love Poppy Playtime, and I know you love the smiling critters. But right now, we're making these smiling critters baby versions without a magnet art. This is just like the regular smiling critters that you know and love, except this time, they're babies. Oh, look at this one. It looks like we're making Picky Piggy as a baby magnet art. And we're even adding on the apple as their badge. Wow, Picky Piggy, you look so cute and tiny. And you're dead. Um, well, I'm not gonna comment on that because that one probably stinks. And now we're making somebody else. <gasps> He's blue. He has a very long nose and big fluffy ears. Family, y'all already know who this one is. It's Bubba Bubba Bint. But as a baby. And then we have our light bulb on our chest as our badge. And ta-da! Bubba is complete. Now we have a red character. Ooh, look at this. Do you know which character from the Smiling Critters is red? Because family, we have just created... Bobby Bear Hug! Oh, Bobby Bear Hug as a baby is so cute. I want to give him a hug. <gasps> and wait a sec, there's even more smiling critters too. We have Kickin' Chicken as a baby. Ooh, slay, Kickin' Chicken, slay. Because those golden magnets look kind of good. And then we got a green character. Y'all probably already know who this is too. It's obviously Hoppy Hopscotch. Oh, as a baby. And apparently instead of hopping, Hoppy Hopscotch is spinning. Because she's trying to show us her outfit. And next up we have Crafty Corn. Oh, this one's going to look so cool. I know it. Because Crafty Corn has the flower badge on her chest. Oh, and it's rainbow color too. And then we have the blue hair, the blue hands, and the blue feet. <gasps> Whoa! And she's complete! And now we even have more characters too. Look at this one. I'll give you a hint. This one's a dog. And their name is Dog Day. Dog Day as a baby. <laughs> so cute. And then look at this one. It's the most evil character in all of Poppy Playtime 3. It's purple. It's a cat. It probably wants to eat you and has a half moon on their chest. Family, you already know who this is. <gasps> it's baby catnap. <laughs> If you like today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Go get baby nuggy, saucy nuggy, and dippy nuggy plushie at shopalexa.com. Me and all the nuggies love you so much. And we'll see you all in tomorrow's video.